Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you my process for testing out business ideas and finding out if anyone wants them. So I'm going to take you through the process from idea to actually launching a landing page and then hopefully getting your first customer sign up and it shouldn't take more than a few minutes. So here we go. So obviously there are many landing page builders out there but the problem I always find is if I have an idea uh, it's usually only fleeting and I really want to test it as quickly as possible. And the thing about landing page builders is you go there, you, first you have to choose the right one. Then when you go there, they're offering you lots of templates or loads of design decisions to make. And this always slows me down. This always takes me so long. And then you have to think about how to structure the page and what you're supposed to write. And the process is really so lengthy that it often stops me in my tracks and I end up procrastinating and then moving on to something else. So I always use this site, yep.so, which is actually an app I built myself. You just go straight to the home page. You can go from a laptop or from a mobile phone. And first you type in the name of your idea. So I'm gonna put in an idea that I've been thinking about for the last few days. Click create page. So it just explains a bit about how the template has been based on best practices for building converting landing pages. And here we go. So the first thing it says is the headline, explain the value you provide as simply as possible. Now these are all things I've thought this through before, so I, because I didn't want to waste your time, so I'm just going to go ahead and type the things that I have planned. So the next thing it says is subtitles are where you get specific. Introduce the product, explain how it creates the value in your title. Then it asks me to write a call to action. I said join the waitlist because the product doesn't actually exist yet. And then it says social proof adds instant credibility to the value you're promising. Get a quote from someone in your audience to recognize and put it in here. So I don't have any quotes about this idea, so I'm just going to put a quote in from myself. Okay, so that's the top section done. And obviously I can play around with the styling, so I'm going to center align that. Uh, and I'm also going to change the primary color of the page to be something a bit more interesting. Okay, and then the next part, it's asking me to put features or objections. So as you can see, the whole structure is laid out for me. So I'm going to start with first feature or objection. So and then it says click to choose an image. So here you can type an emoji. Like that. Or you can clear that and I can upload an image or I can search. So I'm going to search for Twitter. Search for another image. Um, add a picture of someone sleeping. And as you can see, you can add extra features, you can add more social proof, you can add a testimonial wall, um, frequently asked questions, remind people why they need to sign up. And you can also do a founder letter. So all of this is based on best practices for landing pages that convert. So once I'm happy with that, all I need to do is go to publish options and click public. And that's going to publish the page. So congratulations, your page is live. It took you five minutes from start to finish. So it's now giving me this link here, yep.so slash p slash tweets to blog posts, and I can copy that and I can share that wherever I want. And this is what the final page looks like. So there's everything there that I put in. And if I like this, you can see it's looks just as good on mobile side screen. 
And the cool part is, uh, instead of having to put in Google Analytics and stuff like that, it already has stats built in. So here you can see the number of views, the page is guessing, the number of people who are converting, i.e. giving their email address, and the percentage of conversion rate. So the aim is that you get as many people to look at this page as you can, uh, you see how many conversions you get, and you see if it's high enough to warrant you pursuing this idea. And if not, you get rid of the idea, or perhaps you change the landing page, or you change the distribution channels that you're posting in to see if you can get traction elsewhere. The other cool thing is that when someone signs up, you not you only get an email notification, but they will be asked to tweet that they've just signed up. So this is a way that your page can gain more virality and you can get more signups.